Hey everyone, Editor Bill here. Uh, Bill decided to take this week off, um, so I'm just going to step in and give you a little update on how the book writing is going. Um, but before I do that, let me quickly mention that we do have merch, and we also have a brand new Patreon and Instagram. Links are in the descriptions below, and with that, let's get into the update. Okay, so, for those of you, uh, just as a reminder, um, the book is called Life is a Cruise, Tales from the North Atlantic. Uh, we did have a contest um, for that, and a friend of the show, Cindy, uh, won that contest, so... That ended up being the book title. I think I has a nice ring to it. Um, there will be a contents uh, section, which I didn't fill in yet, obviously because we don't know where the book is going to end up in terms of pages and whatnot. So. Uh, the first part of the book, there's two parts. Uh, the first part is You've Got Mail, and that uh, is all about the background as to where this whole trip came from and the preparations for it. And chapter one is You've Got Mail or How It All Began, which is gives that background. And then chapter two is intergen or plans and preparations um and this is all about how bill worked with her, our local AAA office and a particular um person there uh travel agent there to help plan the trip and get everything in place get it all together Then we have the second part, which is the actual cruise itself. And that starts with chapter three, uh, which is a little history of the Celebrity Cruise Lines as a whole and Celebrity Summit. Uh, in particular, Celebrity Summit is the actual ship that, the, um, that Bill went on on this trip. Um, so there's a little history of that. And we are also putting in a little mini deep dives um, here and there. Not a lot of them, um, maybe five or six of them over the course of the book. Just a little uh, page, a little more than a page, um, extra information. Uh, this one is on the idea of the ship's godmother. Every ship anywhere on, on the seas has a godmother. And this mini deep dive takes a little look at that whole idea. And then we get into the actual cruise itself, starting with Embarkation Day, which happened in New Jersey. Um, so New Jersey come and gone, or Embarkation Day is chapter four. And then chapter five. So this is all about getting to New Jersey and getting on the ship and all that. And the cruise starting. Chapter five. Jesus, Bill, what'd you do? Write a novel? <laughs> Chapter five is the first uh, port or the first, uh, not the first port, but the first full day on board, uh, which was Sea Day. Sea Day, if you've never been on a cruise before, just means you're not stopping at a port. You're actually just out there in the ocean cruising. Um, the entire day um, and in this case uh, Bill was on the way to Halifax but there is a sea day Halifax Nova Scotia in Canada so there's all about that and then We get to um, Halifax in Nova Scotia. Uh, the Citadel was a is a major landmark there, um, former military base for a couple hundred years. 
in Halifax at the top of a hill. Um, it's really nice. Uh, if you ever get a chance to go there, it's really nice uh, there. Um, so this is all about the day in Halifax. And then... Uh, see day two uh, is the what would be the third full day on on the cruise um, Bill took a behind the scenes tour of the ship itself um, including going, getting onto the bridge uh, that's where the tour ended um, so he talks a lot about the tour and other happenings on the ship that particular day and then we get into uh, St. John's, in Newfoundland, um, where it rained a lot, and he learned some things about dogs. So on rain and dogs, of course, St. John's, Newfoundland. Next, we there be whales here, or sea day three. Um, this is the beginning of the second half of the voyage, as you can see, if you can see the first sentence there of the chapter. Um, and he gets into why he called the chapter that. Noticing a pattern with these chapters here that he's doing. Um, every, every main chapter title, um, has something to do with something that happened that day. Uh, chapter 10 brings us archers, watches, and kids, or C Day 4. And then chapter 11 is small town living, or Quackaduck. Yes, that is how you pronounce that, Quackaduck, uh, in Greenland. It's all about that. Now we have in a fog, uh, chapter 12, in a fog or cruising Prince Christian Sund. Uh, Prince Christian Sund is Norwegian or Scandinavian of some kind um, for Prince Christian Sound. And that's the chapter he's working on now. Uh, and then after that, there's four more chapters to go. Uh, suiting up again, CDA 5, all about horses, Akiuri, Iceland, and then Isa Fordor, Iceland, and Home James, or Reykjavik. Um, that is his, that will be about his trip coming home because this was a, a one-way cruise um, that ended in, started in New Jersey, ended in Reykjavik, Iceland, and his trip home from Reykjavik. Um, just a little behind the scenes on the writing of the book. And uh, also, you would, I don't know, if you may notice that right now he's putting it in um double double spaced um that is so when the editor can gets a hold of it he uh the editor will be able to you know work with it a little more it's a little easier to read um when it's actually published of course like any other book it would be published in single spaced um so in the end, um, we're predicting that the book uh, will be uh, maybe about 150, 175 pages. Um, and that's with this text and also some pictures. And he has some little extra things he's planning on putting in the back that I do not have 
permission from him to talk about in this video. Um, but some extra little little extra bits, bits of information. Thank you as always for watching. And as Bill says, please keep on reading. We'll see you next time.